Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are building a city in Austria, which is one of my favorite games in the entire world. I probably say that about every game that I'm playing, because when I'm playing them, they are my favorite. So in the last episode, we left off with five houses. Winter was coming and we still needed to build up four more houses to keep the people wanting to stay in our dear city which by the way haven't got a name yet so if you want you can comment below with a name suggestion i'm not uh, creative in this way uh, in this game with names of the city but if you have any suggestion please come with them but yeah did some uh, of camera work with some trade boots or market stalls as they are called where the people can um, can sell stuff to the other people of the city struggling a bit to find out how to get the foods from the houses to the market stalls couldn't figure it out that i found out a few hours later i think into the game or not hours but uh, later i actually figure out this because um couldn't figure it out right now but there is a solution because that will um, help a lot with the city growing and as you can see we have the, the sixth house up and going and still needing three more so my heart is kind of sinking at this time because i realize i won't be able to smack down the tree houses to keep the population at the number it is now but maybe maybe not i'm still not sure and as you can see, the roads that are forming while the people are walking on them, they look kind of messy right now. But as the game also continues to play out, I will probably put up some fences and make more clear uh, pathways to where they should be walking. I think I have the... I have... Uh, a need to control some of the craziness that is going on but also there will be placed down a few more buildings when i i reach the level of uh, houses that i need but right now i don't want to disturb the builders by putting down anything else so i'll just cross my fingers and hope that they can work fast enough but i think i might have uh, misplaced some of the houses because the travel distance to where some of the resources for the house building uh, are to be delivered it's it's quite long so um so it's taking quite a while to get the resources over to the houses and also there isn't a lot of people working with building the houses right now so i'm quite depressed by this or not depressed but i'm i'm not happy with this but also i as i said in the last episode i like to clear out this area where the campsite was at when the first uh, or the settlement first was settled and that also means that i will have to remove the well that is there but before i remove the well it's quite important that I have other resources or other sources for the people to get their water. If not, I will have them dying and I will have them moving out of my city. So I, I, I'll start that process now in hopes and hope that uh, it won't affect the builders. Keeping my fingers crossed that this, those nine houses will be made in time and uh, also trying to plan some ahead but it it is kind of hard without knowing how many people you will keep through winter and there is also a possibility that people will move to your city but for them to move to your city you have to 
have enough food for them to be able to move in and also jobs and houses available and other stuff but the food pro or providing of food to the citizens is essential for them to move into the city so losing some in this process will mean that i will have to spend more time before i can get them back into the city and we are on the eighth house right now it's being built up quite fast and that leaves us with one left to build and we're in october and i think the winter will come in sometime in november so one month nearly one and a half months to build the rest mm, i'm kind of bummed out at this point and as you can see i'm playing on game speed 3 in the last episode i spoke about not playing at this speed at this point of the game because i don't think my computer can handle building as fast with that fast speed i don't know i'm not good at this but i think it's something to do with the capacity of my computer so that might also be the reason that i'm struggling to achieve the nine houses here that i played at a higher speed but but maybe not maybe that's just reaching for another reason than me placing the houses down in a stupid pattern or a dumb pattern but it's also kind of hard just waiting around for the houses being built up without me being able maybe i'm able but without placing down other buildings and planning more but um but the last house is starting to build up here so maybe there's a chance but um but uh, i'm still <laughs> not sure that i will succeed in my quest for the nine houses and i was actually thinking about placing down the fishing docks but those require also that you have a boat builder place and that will take a lot of people working in those professions for me to be able to build a boat and have boats for them to go fishing so i'm not sure that is the smartest way to get food into the community and i also think that the fishing doesn't provide enough food for the the people so i will probably end up placing down a farm when we see how many people we have left in the city when winter comes and it's not like i'm going to punish the rest of the people by not providing food for them if um, if i do not succeed in placing down nine houses but um, but it has to do with how many people i have, have available to do the work for me so at this point you can see that i'm looking at some other stuff and not really noticing that we are losing one of the families due to winter coming and that is probably just as the ninth house is being completed that that family decided to pack up their tent and leave our city and maybe we will see them again but that was not how this was supposed to start but moving on from that loss of a family i have to build some um, something that will give them food when the spring comes and also and the game is telling me to build more village houses to have more people moving in and right now we have one house where people can move in but nobody would want to move in because we do not have have the food resources for them to move in so so i'll, I'll end up placing down uh, something that will provide them food and i will do as the game tells me to do and build a farm for the people because that is a very efficient way to receive lots of food to the people although lots 
of the food that are being produced at the farms has to be processed in another way, like the wheat has to be milled to become flour for them to eat and um, use. And also the sunflower needs to be pressed into oils for them to be able to use them in their cooking. So, but okay. the farm is a good alternative right now to getting some something to make this city grow. But also placing down a granary where the produced goods from the farm can be stored. My thought here is that in this one I will, uh, because in the granaries you can, and the storehouses or the houses where you store thing, you can uh, select uh, which goods you want to be stored in the houses. And I think in that one, which I placed down behind the farm, I would want it to have the grains and also the potatoes and sunflowers. And eventually I will probably end up placing down a sunflower oil factory next to it so that we can have a short travel distance from where the sunflower is stored to where it's produced. And I'm also placing down a, a warehouse to store metal parts, nails, iron, and the stuff that is needed to build stuff. And also cleaning up the area where the campsite was before. Placing down a few more wells around the place. One of them just wanted to be placed a total random place. <laughs> but uh, making sure that the, the buildings that need water have that easily accessible for them. And also making some room for the other buildings that uh, will end up being in the city center eventually when we get more people into the city. And the farm has been uh, built up now, so we can place down some fields where the uh, grain and the potato and uh, stuff will be grown in the springtime and summertime and then harvested in the fall before winter comes. Again, the winter, you have to make sure that you're not being late with what you're supposed to do so that winter comes in and destroys the um, the crops, for example. And going with potatoes on this field because that's what that's the easiest one. It doesn't need any processing before people can eat it. And you also have to remember to activate the field before springtime. If if it's not activated. It, there won't be anything happening on the field uh, during springtime. So they won't sow anything and then nothing will grow. And that's as easy as that. But it's, it's easy to forget about activating the fields, especially when you have a lot of lots of fields. And also the soil will get exhausted. So you have to do a rotation of what you are uh, growing on the fields and then um, in the beginning when the population is quite low and I don't want to put a manager into the farm uh, you have to do the crop rotation uh, manually yourself and figure out how to get the most of the soil that you have available for you. And also during winter in this game, I like to play it at a higher speed. I think it's mostly because I am not a winter person. Living in Norway, that is extremely hard not to be a lover of the snow because there is a lot of snow. But I I prefer the, <laughs> the green lush grass and the the springtime, the summertime, and the fall time when we're not covered in snow from head to toe. But luckily in this game, the winter isn't that long, so it will it will soon be over. I think it's over in February. 
So also placing down a smaller granary close to the houses that has the gardens, because I finally figured out how to provide the market stalls with the goods from the, or the food from the houses. And that is by choosing uh, one granary that, or more granaries, but right now choosing one granary that does take in uh, foods or goods from the houses or not the production places, but the houses where people grow things. So that is one way to also have more food provided for the rest of the uh, the people of the city and also make them have a variety of foods available to them. And as you can see, winter is over in uh, this city. Luckily, it's not that I don't like the winter graphics in the game. It's just that I don't like winter. And especially now that we're in early March, I, in, in my real life, <laughs> I just want this to be spring because it is the first spring month. But I know that we will probably in my city have snow until maybe the last part of April and um but but yeah that it it explains why I'm so happy when spring comes to my game because today it's a sunny day outside and the snow is melting it's the 5th of March and that is kind of early for the snow to be melt melting and the streets to be clearing up and I sent my kids to school today in not the thickest jackets and those sneakers shoes instead of those big winter shoes hoping that they don't catch colds just because I'm so so thrilled about the weather these days but I know that there will be a few more snowfalls until we see see the actual spring in my part of uh, the world but back into the game, I'm placing down a cart parking place where you can park the carts that are uh, the citizens are using to transport stuff. Uh, I will be deleting the other one that came with the settlement and probably adding um, adding another cart. Uh, but I also need to place down the carpentry because the carts will wear out and to be able to get more carts, I will have the, uh, I will need the carpenter to build more carts for the city. So uh, that's my mission with the new cart parking place that I placed beside the warehouse. Trying to really think about where to place stuff so that the transport uh, routes or way to get to the stuff isn't too far away from where the people live and work and need to transport stuff. And the game is actually also telling me that, telling me that I need to maintain my cart so that they don't wear out because it will just take so much longer when they have to carry stuff by hand than when they can transport stuff in their carts. And also making sure that the granary that I place beside the farm uh, is set up so that when I change the crops that I'm growing right now, there will be a place for the um, people to store those crops also. And I was thinking about maybe getting the chickens, but then I remembered that I need to have the trade center or it's, yeah, it's, it's the trade stuff where we get people from other cities coming into town and trading their goods with our goods or with our money. Uh, and I would need that. And I would also need food for the, the chickens. So I'll, I won't be jumping into that yet, I think. Uh, but I would, in my mind, potatoes and the vegetables that are being provided to the people right now isn't enough 
to make them healthy because their diets would just not be good enough so i would need some sort or some source of protein like meat or fish or anything uh, that uh, is in that category to keep them healthy and when they're healthy they can work and i need them to be working for me and um, that's why i'm thinking about what move do i make next in the food industry in this settlement and as you probably saw i set up the smaller granary to um, to get stuff that is produced in the houses or the households but i forgot to click the button that makes it uh, so that we buy from them also because they just don't they don't want to give away their foods and i understand that so we have to buy it so so you have to also click those to be able to buy the produce from the from the citizens of the city so i will just have to figure out that later on and i also do that but uh, not right now and the carpentry is up and running needing somebody to work there and also it needs metal parts to produce stuff so as i did earlier i stopped the production of metal parts in the smithy because i wanted them to focus on the nails but i guess i will have to go in now and just uh, set up some production of the metal parts which takes more iron and it takes more time to make them but it's also essential for the further growth of the the city but as i'm struggling to figure out why the goods or the food from the houses isn't being delivered to the the granary the small granary and why i also figure out that oh i can provide them with the potatoes that are being grown uh, in the farm i can make the market stall start selling that and also trying to figure out why the uh, carpenter isn't fixing my carts uh, i think i will just end this episode here and we will jump back in to Ostrib in another episode and I will figure out more as I play. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm struggling some to remember where stuff is. But with that, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing great. And I hope to see you again in another episode. And if you like this, I would suggest that you press the like button and you subscribe to me. And I also wish you goodbye.